Hello, hope you're all doing fine and moving on by God's grace. We just move on day by day. It's not our power. We, we don't have power over our lives, but the Almighty God has got power over us. Thank you so much for you who are subscribed. Thank you so much for you who has liked, who has shared, who has commented. Thank you so much. May the Almighty God bless you. I love you all. Mwah. Anyway, today I'm going to talk on something. Uh, do you know I'm a mother? And I've, I've gone through phases whereby you find yourself you are so down. So today I just want to encourage a woman out there. Today, I want to talk to a woman who has, go, who has undergone miscarriage. It's a very painful situation. I once went through that, and I know how it feels. It really feels, you feel like part of you is out, just like losing a kid, losing a child. It's the same feeling you feel when you, you miscarry your baby. So, today, it's just a piece of encouragement. Today, I just want to talk to that woman who is under pain, that woman who is under depression, stress, all that combined together, who doesn't know where to start, please, today I'm here to encourage you to collect the pieces. Just pick yourself up and get the courage and stand again. This is the situation whereby you really feel low, you really feel down, you really feel that the whole world has abandoned you. Please. Today I'm talking to that woman, today I'm talking to that lady, today I'm talking to that girl. You, you can still make it. You can still collect the pieces, you can still stand up, you can still become who you want to be. It's just a phase of which most of us have gone through that. I went through, I, I had a miscarriage once and to make things worse, it was my first pregnancy and then I miscarried. It was really painful. It was really hurting. I, I'd, already me, I'd already had a bondage with my little one, with the unborn baby. I had a miscarriage when my, my, my little born was. My, my, my little baby, he said me, was four months old. So I'd already made that bond. I'd already bonded from the time, my, my, for, from the time I realized that I was pregnant. I started bonding with my unborn baby. But the time I go to fourth month, then things just happened and then I miscarried. It was really a painful situation. So, as I went through a painful situation, I also encourage you, a woman, please, I don't want to feel the way I felt. It was really bad. Sometimes you feel that you have no one even to talk to. You are just all alone. You just cry on your pillow. Please. I'm talking it. I'm so emotional. I'm talking this in, in an emotional way because I, I, when I remember that time, it was really hard for me. It was really a situation where it was really a time that I felt like I'm alone in the whole world. So please, mothers, please, ladies, if you, if you are, you, you are in this situation at this time and we're watching this uh, clip at this time, I'm encouraging you. Even this will pass. I'm telling you, just just give it time. Just encourage yourself. Just collect the pieces. Just put yourself together and then stand up again. I know you are in a very hard, hard situation. I know it's very painful because I was once there. But we are here to encourage each other. We are here to comfort each other. So I'm encouraging you. I'm comforting you. Just collect the pieces and stand again and things will become better. So these are some of the things that I want to share with you because they host, they, host, they also helped me. If you have, if you have gone if you have undergone a miscarriage, please, as a mother, as a woman, don't just let don't just stay alone all the time. It's okay to have a long time, but having a long time, you really you you reflect on the pain until become pain and pain. It's okay you can have a long time, but don't make it too much a long time. Have time with people. Have time and talk to somebody. Have time if you are with your spouse, and I'm also talking to sp our spouses. I'm also talking to dads, to to fathers. Please, if your woman has gone uh, has undergone miscarriage, be as close to her as before. Talk to her, encourage her, pray with her. 
because it's a situation that we are feeling, we feel alone. But if somebody comes and, and, and encourages us, somebody comes and prays with us, somebody comes and talks to us, we feel much better. So please, fathers, and men out there, if your girlfriend, your wife has undergone miscarriage, please be the one, number one supporter to your woman. So avoid alone time most, most of the times. Have alone times, but make them limited. This will help you. The other thing, you can also pray. It doesn't matter the religion you are, but have meditation time alone. Here's the time that you can be alone and pray to your God and, and let God take over. Because for me, I believe everything under the sun is under God's control. So if, you're, if, you, if you take time to pray and let God just take over, let the Holy Spirit take over and encourage you, so have time to pray, have time to meditate. Tell God and cry. And also the other thing, don't, don't put things inside. You know, sometimes as women, some women, they keep things inside. Once you keep something inside, the day it will outburst, my dear, it will become very worse for you. That's why you hear people have committed suicide, people have killed themselves because of accumulating, accumulating, uh, painful things inside of you so if you have time cry it out it's okay to cry as women we are so emotional we cry most of the time so please cry it out just let it go cry and then sober up move on so I've said pray uh, uh, avoid a long time most of the times let somebody uh, talk to somebody then pray then meditate it will, it will help you it will help you. Then cry. Cry for some. Don't cry and cry and cry, my dear. There are some people you cry in the morning, you cry in the afternoon, you cry all the time, you are crying. Please. It's okay to cry, but then limit your, your, your crying. You can cry and let it out. Talk to yourself. Talk to your God. And let all things just happen automatically. It will just go away. So please. I'm here to encourage a woman, I'm here to talk to a mother, I'm here to talk to a lady, I'm here to talk to you who has undergone discourage. So I'm saying, avoid a long time, most of the time. You can have a long time, it's okay to have a long time, but don't take it all the time. You, are, you lock yourself in, in the doors, you lock yourself in the rooms for the whole day, for the whole night. You're just in the room alone. Please, go outside and have fresh air. Go outside and relax. And one thing I'm a, I, I want to advise you. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay. Put it down. So one thing I want to advise you, my dear friends. This has this will also pass. At, at that time, I feel that, oh my God, will I have another baby? Oh my God, what has happened to me? All these thoughts. But as time went on, I got another baby. So please, also you, you will get another baby. This is painful situation. Nothing can replace that, but it has happened. So just encourage yourself, pick up yourself, and you'll get another baby. And also another thing that I want to, to, to also talk to you who has undergone miscarriage, don't rush. Don't rush things. You got this miscarriage, after some time, you get another pregnancy. No. Just take it time. Go slowly. Make sure that you recover from this pain. Once you recover from this pain, then you can plan ahead for another baby. Then you can plan ahead for other uh, uh, pregnancies. So please take your time. Don't just rush. Because once you rush, you never know what, first of all, you have to, 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 to go under check. What has caused this miscarriage? Once you have known what has caused this miscarriage, then keep treating that cause. After everything has normalized, then you can go for another baby. So please, mothers who have, who have undergone miscarriage, don't rush things. Just don't rush for another pregnancy. Just take your time. Take your time to to take your time to sober up. Take your time to recover. Take your time to relax. Have time to relax. Relax, and so that you can become fresh again. You can become normal again. And if the situation has passed, then you can have another baby. This is just a phase. So sometimes we we, we, under, we undergo phases. So this is also another phase, but it will pass by. So today I just felt like talking to you, mother, because I'm also a mother. I went through that. It's very painful. You really feel it. But then it will pass. 
Mm. And you'll have another baby and another and another. May God help you. May God continue uh, encouraging you. May God help you to, 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 to go through the situation you are going now. Please collect your pieces and stand up again and you'll move again. Sober up. Just uh, uh, relax and things will become normal again. So today I just felt like talking to you, mother, because we know us mothers, we have a lot of things inside of us. But I love you so much. You, you are such a woman. You are superb. You are you're just a great woman. Having this card doesn't lower you. You are still a woman, a great woman. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Hope it has touched somebody and has encouraged somebody. Thank you so much. And keep watching my videos. I love you all. I love you mothers. Bye for now. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.